from directing and producing wild Hollywood films to flying airplanes, owning casinos and hotels in Vegas, and setting many world flight records, let's talk Howard Hughes. Hi, welcome back to another episode of Seeking Genius. My name is Valor Finley, where I talk about people I find genius and that inspire me every day. Howard Hughes was a brilliant man, yet he was very complicated, wealthy, inventive, highly stubborn, highly ambitious, a crazy uh, germaphobe, which was embedded into him at a young age from his mother. He loved speed, he loved heights, he embraced being labeled controversial, and I would consider him a genius. It is well known that he inherited his fortune from his father who founded Toolco, a company that designed tools to make oil drilling a lot easier, faster, and for them to drill even further, which saved a lot of time and a lot of money. Howard seemed to have gained confidence and certainty in himself after his father died when he was just 18 years old. With both parents passed, Howard had sort of a necessity to mature as a man and knew what he wanted to be in his life. Howard cut ties with relatives uh, that recommend he has to go to college, but instead Howard gained full control of his father's hard-earned money 18 years old. At the time when Howard Hughes was an active filmmaker, the dude took on the board of censorship quite a bit. His film Scarface was considered too violent and contained too much bloodshed that it was rejected by various motion picture agencies. But Howard fired back with a strong point of view that self-elected guardians were violating freedom of honest expression in America. In the end, Howard won against censorship and gained much respect from other Hollywood filmmakers because he was the only one who dared to speak up. The only one in the whole industry. Genius and brave and bold. Hell's Angel was Howard's big break movie that was filmed during the transition from silent movies to sound, aka talkies. When the world for the first time heard sound in a movie, Howard decided to reshoot parts of Hell's Angel in order to incorporate sound and dialogue. Most people would have just said, ah, we're finished. Well, the film's already done, we'll, get, we'll catch him on the next one. But I respect that Howard took the narrow road on this. He bought a TV station which aired sports, PBA bowling, and even hosted a 1971 special of the Muppets. He brought over seven hotels one of the craziest things to me is that this multi-billionaire died without a will and died without children. You've got to respect the dream. You've got to respect the drive. There's so much more to say on Howard Hughes. He was, I'd say he was maybe the Elon of the 20th century. This has been another episode of Seeking Genius. If you like this video, give me a like, share this video, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching.